Well hello there my friends, my name is Mikey and welcome along to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake live on twitch.tv forward slash Mikey Mega Mega or recorded over for YouTubes where you might be watching it now. Guys, it is a pleasure to have you. Very quick side event. I'm going to be uh, running through this game, mostly focused into it. I will do my best not to talk of any cutscenes. Um, I've played the 1997 release of this game and I loved it. It's basically my favourite. Um, but I'm essentially new to this particular version. So we've kind of got like chat live over here. Hey, it's Harley's, Anime Junku, Gem, Mansab, Bojack, Guardian of Lilies, Kidu, First AMV, all you lovely people. It's lovely to have you. Um, but we're essentially just going to be diving right in. I have played a little bit of a demo, so I'm hoping I've got the buttons down. Let's get this bad boy up. We're going to slip into a new game. I love already the references. We've got the Buster Sword, just like the old original intro. Default controls, difficulty. Classic is horrifically easy. Easy is easy, so let's go normal. I wonder if there's a hard mode that we can unlock later. It is a pleasure to have you. I've been waiting for this for most of my life. Let's just dive in.
Get down here, Merc. Well, 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 my friends. Oh, my God. Dinosaurus, Bojack, Man, Sab, Anime, Junkie. Yeah, we in it. We in it. Lovely to see you guys. Hope you're all doing okay. Oh, my God. So, there was far more introduction than there was in the original demo. Look at Cloud's model. Look at the Buster Sword. I've got one Materia equipped. Look how Hinch Barrett is. What fucking fantastic. So, we just had like this far, far, feed or less kind of intro where we saw... What I'm assuming is the development of the original Midgar, back when all the sectors had names. And then at the very end, we just saw the industry kept going. Then that first reactor went up and we saw the very edge of a plate. Very nice, a very curious introduction. So guys, do me a favor, let me know if you can hear me clearly um, over the audio or if the music of the video game is too loud and stuff. We will find it. However, yes. Some items are slashable. The rest of it is just, you know, for really good looks. What a beautiful time to be alive. Yeah, fuck storage. What are you saying, Barrett? Halt! Who goes there? You're up. You square to attack uh, and hit multiple people. You got it. You're coming with us. Nice and easy. I don't think so. Guys, we've just reached level seven. Barely begun. I still, I still miss the older. Sound effects. Yeah, let's drop this audio. Okay, guys, how's that? Is that a little bit better? Let me know. Yeah, the sword's got a materia slot. A visually identifiable materia actually in the slot. Absolutely fantastico. Easy. Oh. Okay, so does this guy have any potions? <gasps> oh no. That's just me entering my menu. So I don't think there's a button to pick up items as so much as you just run over stuff or smash boxes. Look at this train. Look at this dark nighttime skyline. Look at all those greens and metals. I love it. There's our objective. The first reactor. Look at this station. I love everything. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see them. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Tease. Uh, ATB gauge uh, fills when we slash people up. Try other movements. Freeze! Move and we shoot. Go ahead. Lovely. X for commands. Enough of this. So let's use uh, a spell. Let's use fire on our other security guard over here. He can use magic. <gasps> Nothing to it. Wow, <laughs> that blew that guy's mind. He can use magic. When not in battle, you can check the map using options or map and objective buttons. And move over stuff with the move button. Mm, so here we are at the station. So our menu is very, it's very blue and cold. I mean, so is the original. <gasps> Guys, there's bomb-themed bomb stuff. And clear icicle mineral water. They appear to be out of all of it. Train champ. You got this. Yeah, what he said. Uh, defend or evade. You're coming with us. Okay, you have to hold R to defend, and that's filling up my gauge bar. Whatever. So I'm gonna use an ability. Focus thrust right on this guard, and I think I'm gonna cut through the first guard to do it. I know. I was hoping it would like do a twofer. So let's block again. Nice. 
So the graphics are lovely. It's You can't interact too much with the environment, but the upside is it makes everything really smooth. Those sword swings are delicious. Is it... Are we on the 2118 Sector 5 train? Oh, all the trains head to Sector 5. No toilet breaks. Understood. Use triangle to open stuff. Lovely two potions. Thank you very much. I do... Hello. I do love this train station vibe. <gasps> two grenades! I... Oh, do you know what? When we played the demo, there weren't any grenades. Guys. Seven. See the world through her eyes. A film about a cat who's also a photographer. <gasps> and a play. And other stuff. It's in Japanese. Watashi ga something iru no wa anshin to something something des. We're all here working together, so be safe. Oh, like be safe when we're building things. <gasps> and loveless, guys, it's the hit film and or play loveless, but made it all the way through seven. Stump and book free. I love them. Shinra, merging innovation with creation. What we do, we do for Midgar and for you. Welcome in, Monkey Dikitsu. Hi, guys. British Manga Car. Tommy, Guardian. Uh, smash up Shinra boxes. Will do. So there's shards in this. Mako shards. I don't massively know what they do yet. Here's our train. Soldier Boy Steel. Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. So old, um, old Wedge the door open with my big fat ass over here, Wedge. He really wants me to be one of his buddies. Jesse's treating me like a piece of meat. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Biggs is obviously um, doing his uh, Naked Gun two and a half impression. Wait, no, is it Naked Gun two and a half? What was the one of the other comedian? Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Uh? <laughs> Which? Uh... <sighs> oh, it's looking fucking incredible. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> oh, let's go. All right, my friends. So we're going to just combat our way through. Main scenario, infiltrate the reactor. Gladly. Walking onto targets when you press R3, and then you can move specifically with R or switch. Good boy. to know. So let's lock onto Guess this dog first. and block. Okay. Uh, my ATB bar isn't full up, so I'm going to attack the dog for a bit. Dodge for bullets with circle. And now I'm going to burn that dog with fire. Burn. 
just did a cheeky side roll dodge on the uh, gunman. Oh, you can juggle them. Good to know. As for it, this guy's causing a mess. Oh my, do you know what? Their HP or like the difficulties higher than it was in the demo. This dog's a little bit tougher than it was in the demo version. That's very nice to know. We're actually going to get a bit of a meaty game, I think, as we go on. Was never in doubt. Cloud loves murdering animals. A bottle of ether. More assholes. <laughs> So let's drop fire on the dog again. And then just smash it up. Staggered. Big hits, big dreams. 109 HP slice. Is that it? They're like accentuated uh, Rottweilers with those a faux ear look. I like it. Good morning, Bill. How you doing? Handsome, handsome Bill. Okay, guys. Just making sure there's no stuff. A Moogle medal. Thank you very much. Let's have a quick... Uh... So, this is our items menu. From the main menu, you can view your inventory... Gameplay status, save and load your games. Okay, here's Handsome Cloud. Here's our potion, our ether, our grenades. A grenade deals 200 physical damage. Guys, we're going to use one of our grenades in a minute. Uh, enemy intel? Oh! Oh! Military canines trained by the troopers from Shinra's Public Security Division. They're extremely obedient once trained, can sniff out intruders and launch ferocious attacks. So we can view the character. Oh my god, we can view the character models. We can view animated character models of everything we fight. Look at that texture mapping. Look, look, oh, look at that feel. That is really fucking dope. Let me. Uh, do we have one for Shinra guards? Security officers, they're called. Uh, they're human, grounded types. Troopers belong to Shinra's public security division, typically seen patrolling the city streets and company installations. Many are new recruits with little training. Can I zoom in? Oh. <laughs> okay, we're going to take a look at this after we like kind of wrap up this mission. That's good to know. I just wanted to find uh, my Moogle medal. I guess it's not sitting in my inventory as I'd hoped. Anyway. I'd like to see the character stats screen more in depth. Yeah, Bojack. I'll open it up again in just a second, that case. Oh shit, more things to draw. More things to draw indeed, my friends. I'm very excited. So they're... Burning through that gate. Good for them. Potion, Mako shards. Not so fast. We've got company. Oh, hello. Should be easy. Oh, it goes really echoey when you enter the uh, slow-mo menu screen. I like it. Okay, let's start on the security officer then. Dodge any dog attacks. Drop into fire. The dog's still there, so I'm going to also use a braver. So, in the original Final Fantasy VII... Braver was actually one of my limit breaks. Nice. 
Here it's more of a, an extra, like, a bonus ability move. I mean, I'll take it. Man, he loves that murder. Uh, let's grab an item. Give ourselves a little potion. 350 HP. I like it. Oh, we're getting raided by Jubilina. I still like the enemy designs. I think these enemy designs are absolutely fantastic. Jubilina. Jubilina, you darling of the community. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the raid. It's lovely to see you guys. Welcome on in. Let me just pop into the menu screen. So what's going on on my own intel? Party? Here we go. Cloud. Uh, 22 attack power. Buster sword. Okay, so 22 hit. 22 magic. Uh, no other stats. Bronze bangles giving me 10 defense against physical and magic attacks. Uh, I've got no particular resistances. Attack power 54. Magic attack 52. Defense 21. 10, 1026 HP, 30 MP, level 7. Okay, so these are my stats. Jubilina, how the devil are you? How the devil are you? What have you been working on? How is your stream? Hello and welcome, Raiders. My name is Mikey. I'm an illustrator on YouTube, but mostly I'm just now sacrificing everything for Final Fantasy VII. We've just started. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Welcome on over. Jubilina, you're absolutely excellent human being. You're so dope. I lurk in your stream from time to time when I get... Like, obviously, I say hello. I actually like a fair bit as well, um, just with my morning coffee. You know when you're not in the mood to talk. But your work is fantastic. How did your slime girl go? Did you finish her? She doesn't even use a normal raid message. How dare she? How dare she? Anyway, lovely to see you guys. I'm afraid I'm mostly focusing my attention on this video game, just to like get immersed, but it's lovely to see you. Thank you so much. Jubilina's great. Guys, give Jubilina a follow. Let's get a little shout out. So... Avalanche is hiding, and I'm obviously here to run interference. So, let's block this guy's uh, shot attack. Lovely. I'm filling up my uh, ATB gauge with some defensive action, firstly. Lovely. Just because I want to see what's going on with the uh, grenade option. Grenade. Security Officer A. Hello. You're welcome. Oh! He ragdolls. Let's unlock from that dude. Very interesting. Okay. Good to know. Lovely. More EXP. More dreams. Hi. I also just played some Resident Evil 3. And they showed me a clip of your glorious scream from a zombie. <laughs> How dare they. How dare they? Oh, Jubilina, that's really dope. Where are you up to in the game? And how are you finding it? I didn't, um, I didn't realise you were a bit of a Resident Evil player. Very, very cool. Here, Tommy. Thank you. Slime Girl gets posted into... Guys, Jubilina's Instagram is... I describe it as lush when it's not a bit gory and gooey. Like, uh, give... Seriously, have a look. Give it a follow. Jubilina, do you want to drop your Instagram link in my chat? I think someone will give you a permit. If not, I'll do it. Can you see me micromanaging from a distance? Okay, so we're going to go in here, but let's talk to a uh, wedge for door open. I'll secure our escape route, okay? You go on and catch up with the others. Bet you will, big guy. Has he got, like, a grenade launcher? Oh, yeah, guys. If you've got a sore throat or anything... Whiskey. I've got Jack Daniels Tennessee honey here. And you can barely see, like, a bit of it here. But I've actually put in a huge... Like, I slowly knifed it all in. I put in an incredibly large amount of honey. And I did this yesterday, and... All the honey's dissolved, so it's now the sweetest whiskey. It's like nectar. A cheeky swig of that from time to time if your throat's going. Game changer. Also, day drinking, because COVID. Keep them safe, please. I promise you nothing. Fun fact about swords of that size and weight. As remarked by Guts from Berserk, they don't have to be sharpened. The sheer weight will smash through with sheer force. Sharpens a bonus. There's, um, there, be there becomes a time where there's a physical issue 
where the mass of a sword is simply weighs more than you, so you can't hold it in a standard sword position, literally because you tip over your front foot, regardless of your actual strength. Yeah, guys, give that a click. You don't need COVID for day drinking. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Barrett's very physically expressive. There's a lot of gesticulating from old B-Boy. Hey, girl. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I love that she's just got old-school armor. Like... It's such a cobbled together where whatever you can kind of role playing RPG dystopian vibe that she's just wearing plate. That's just so dope. In three, two, damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door. Door. Whoa, wait. It's over. That's my line. Uh, switching modes, Cloud's unique ability. Every character has a unique ability with triangle. Cloud's mode shifts can switch between balanced or attack oriented Punisher. He's alone. We... In Punisher, Cloud moves more slowly, but attacking unleashes a more powerful attack, and he also launches a counter blow every time he guards against enemies' melee. So, yeah, I remember this. So, what we're going to do, guys, is he, ha he cannot, however, guard against ranged attacks or magic so this is for up close and personal action only so i'm going to st go into this new mode and i'm going to block and see if he counters Take it. Make it rain. yeah that was an automatic slice okay lovely so i'm taking off 65 hp of those big boy cuts Yeah, quite the crowd smasher. I liked it. Take that interactable items with ray tracing. Look at him casting shadows. Yeah, well done, well done. What are you saying, bruv? Simmer down, hot shot. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the dream. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but... What can you do? Huh. And we're good. Careful in there. I remember it, Tommy. I remember your hand ammo. I got this place covered. For his handgun. Because, anyway. Uh, so, oh, so Mako shards. So these shards are not items that we um, hold on to. They're literally just minor buffs into my stats. So I'm just recovering HP. And MP. Yeah, 29 MP just for coming across one of those shards. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I still want to know what happened to that medal. Inventory. Items. Ah, oh, key items. A medal with a Moogle on it. A popular item amongst collectors. Okay, I can't look at the model the same way we can uh, wireframe the enemies. Wireframe? You know what I mean. Actively model. Tough to Phoenix down, thank you. Prohibited items. Toxic, corrosive, unauthorized, or flammable. Some people say I'm on fire. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Girl, you've been pushing my buttons all night long. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close?
Tifa and I. That's not in the demo. All that flashback is new. I love how they're so unimaginative. They couldn't believe that young Tifa would have a different haircut. appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Mako. It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! Do you really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again. <sighs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> Lesbians. Just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. Hey, Barrett Wallace has joined the party. Barrett's strengths. Barrett specializes in ranged attacks, holding down fire. Release a sustained burst of automatic fire equipped with a ranged weapon. Barret can fire from safe locations and hit enemies that Cloud cannot reach with his sword. Okay, it's Barret time. I love that. Why isn't Heidegger a fat ass hat? <laughs> I know what you mean. I remember Heidegger being this big rotund guy who just goes. <laughs> hey man, sir. Hey Mame, welcome on in. Guys, we're just mostly focusing on the game, but welcome on in, guys. Lovely to have you. Mom's Monkey Dikizu. Anyway. Let's do some long-range barreting. Gonna throw your sword so I'm gonna lock on to these guys. How much HP do those laser rays actually take off? Let me... Uh... That's hitting me for 28 yeah, HP. Whatever. Press triangle while in control of Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack that fills a large portion of his ATB gauge. So my triangle attacks actually fill my bar? Yes. Once unleashed, it takes a long time to recharge, but pressing triangle will speed it up. So that's this right here. So I'm just gonna um, hold block with Barrett and get hit by one of these guys. So I'm just curious. Okay, it goes from 28 HP down to 14. Cloud's just running around somewhere on the floor, trying to be useful. I was hoping to uh, get a, a dodge dive roll as well. So, as Barrett, I'm actually going to use a spell on Cloud to cure him of his affliction, which is being useless. 300 HP, love it. So this machine gunning is pretty dope. I'm still charging my bonus.
You can switch to different characters depending on a battle situation. By the way, I bloody love that these weird robot flower things with eyeballs, they're basically exact model replicas of what they look like in Final Fantasy VII. In the original, they're just these really weird abstract shapes. And you, you kind of have to use your imagination to understand what they are. But now we've actually got them just as they are. Yeah, Biojack. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is literally Heidegger in every single dialogue. Lovely to have you guys in, by the way. Uh, so we might switch over to Cloud or Command Cloud with L2 and R2. So I can stay as Barrett and tell Cloud to use Fire on one of those mono drives. Mono drives. Good to know. That's an order. Now I'll stay as Barrett. Doing some long ranging. Not bad. Okay, and the moment that the combat's finished, I default back to Cloud as lead character. So another question in that case. Can I switch for party order? And change who stands at the front? Oh no, my party is locked. I can just flick between characters. So here's Cloud stats. Barrett is also level 7. 47 and 43 uh, attacks for standard and magic. Gatling gun. A custom order gun commissioned specifically to take down Shinra forces. Barrett's longtime right hand man, ladies. Good to know. Also, can I really quickly now have a look at. Uh, here we go. A mono drive in my Intel. Bionic sentries created by Shinra's RD division. They're equipped with artificial intelligence and are used to guard Mako reactors. Look at this bouncy boy. Whoever's working in R&D is clearly a fucking psychopath. Okay. Onward. So this is all physically accurate to the way it was in 7. That big circular dome area what we have here. The laser security is in the map. You can quickly move around, hold R1 or R2 to dash, or just press L3. Good to know. Good morning, Torch. How you doing, mate? Wellity, wellity, wellity. A Final Fantasy crack core, Mikey Mega Mega, who couldn't even wait till midday. Absolutely, Torch, absolutely. Um, quick word to all of my mods, um, just because there's a couple more in. Um, this is a, uh, a no BS stream, as in if anybody comes in with any spoilers, go ahead and time them out immediately. I really don't care. Even something like, oh, hey, what do you think about the changes they made to this versus that? I don't want to hear it. So go ahead and time them out for 10 minutes. Um, or if they're a complete newbie, just ban them. I really don't care. Um, also, I'm focusing mostly on the game more than chat. I'm keeping quiet during all the talking and cutscenes. So if anybody's just like, oh, my key's ignoring me. Um, I've got a new command, exclamation mark chat. Love that you guys are here. Joining me. She's always got a comment. And hopefully my audio levels versus the video game are okay now. Nice and balanced. Just keeping an eye out for boxes. Potion and MP, thank you very much. Where is she? Oh, she's miles away. She's way ahead of me. Hello? Two potions. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, so I'm probably going to do uh, a bit more... Uh... Oh, hello. Oh, she's fucked off! She's... 
<laughs> she just like, good luck, boys. A bottle of ether. Thank you very much. So uh, these things have massive machine guns. I'm going to do a bit of blocking and getting in close. And I'm going to get Cloud round the back. Oh, he's round the back. Okay, let's drop into Punisher mode. I'll get... Uh, that should give us an opening. I need to become Barrett and use his uh, big shot to up my bar so that now I can use Thunder. Let's have a look. Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amounts of damage will temporarily knock them off balance and pressured will appear underneath their gauge. When this happens, pelt them with spells and abilities to quickly stagger them and then... Oh, so we can pressure them. When you max out their pressure bar, they become staggered, and that's when you can get critical hits and stuff. The gauge falls faster depending on the abilities and magics used, and the foe's vulnerabilities. Find the most effective attack to finish them off quickly. Hey, so I'm going to pop back to Cloud really quickly. Let's uh, go ahead and thrust it. Lovely. I'm going to switch Cloud into Big Swinger. It just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Command Barrett to use Thunder again. Enemies who've been staggered are defenseless and take more damage. Using unique abilities on the staggered foe will boost your ATB gauge. Oh, so when they're staggered, I want to focus on using triangle attacks. To max out my own bar. Now's our chance. Go. Okay, brilliant. Need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this. Ooh, that got really e echoey. So I'm gonna go straight into Braver now. Brace yourself. Take him down. Barrett's going to do overcharge. Back to clouds. Okay, so when they're staggered, focus on abilities. I love it. I love it. What are you? Twenty something? First. Huh? Soldier first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I uh <clears throat> those are all I know. A soldier's rank could be the same as his age. <laughs> mm -hmm. Does that make you a one year old, huh? So is anybody familiar with Louis C.K. stand-up when he talks about the friendly man? How, like, he basically used to do racist impressions for his daughter to be like, Mm-hmm, little girl, I'm the friendly man. And they'd be like, Daddy, do the friendly man voice. Mm, the friendly man loves little white girls. Yay, Daddy. It kind of reminds me of that. Who's the voice actor for Barrett? He's great. He is great. Mamo, I'm doing well. Not too different from any day, honestly, but uh, I'm glad Todd is well. I'm glad you're all here, guys, and I'm glad you're well. He's really good at the game. A real soldier. First class. Oh, Louis, I miss you, you idiot. Yeah, God, if he just wasn't exposing himself to people. I mean, to be fair, like, he literally said in his stand-up, I've got about four years at the top, and then I'm going to fuck up, and then I'll just be like you guys again. He, he wasn't kidding. But he's no less funny. That's the, that's the thing. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down. <sighs> I love this absolute nostalgia trip. This is ideal. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, she's miles away. Look how quick she is. It's it's Mako. Mako. It's it's Mako if you're Japanese and you're reading it in Japanese. It's Mako if you're English. Mako? Get your Americanisms out of my life. Welcome, Americans. A tough to Phoenix down, thank you. Heads up, boys. 
Thank you, madam. I'm going to go over here. Not that way. Down the ladder, dummy. I'm not going to go over there. Okay, so I'm going to get stuck into these guys on my uh, big swinger. Oh, Barrett's mostly uh, able to sh hit them. Barrett, do you want to hit the one that's right in front of you, mate? Okay, it's a good thing Cloud's on it. Oh, I better block for that ray. Here we go. Good to know. Good to know. Let's drop a cheeky potion on each of us whilst we're here. I like it. And uh, what's the animation when he does it for Barrett? Oh, it's the exact same thing. It's just Barrett gets leveled. Nice. You think if we fell in, we sink right down to the bottom? <laughs> Actually, let's just um, use fire on this one. Okay, it's really easy to slip into Punisher mode. Like, there's no, there's no downtime between the two modes. So I can just slip in now and then go big swing. You just have to be physically near the enemy. How's Barrett doing? There we go. There's a dude! There's a dude right here! Okay. And don't come back. That particular mono drive was just hanging out. Don't mind me. Bottle of ether. Why thank you. Okay guys, let's have a quick look at that enemy intel really quickly. Okay, there's no weaknesses for Monodrive. I think I still need to use, like, a scan or another ability to actually know about their stats. So that's fine. We've just been fighting this sweeper dude. An autonomous anti-personal weapon manufactured by Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division. It remains in sleep mode until detects intruders, at which point it enters threat and elimination mode. Mm. I love... I love that it is literally the design from the original game. Like, it looks so kind of derpy and funny, because it's all like this really weird scaling for all the different elements. But that is how they are. Very, very good. Okay, guys, I'm just going to pop to the loo really, really quickly, and then we're going to continue in down to the bottom. Really quick, BRB. Hopefully the audio and game levels were okay.
Okay, lovely. Welcome back. Bojack, have you seen enough of their stat screen? Uh, yeah, we don't know what breaks them just as of yet. Most of those are enemies. But we'll find out in time. Uh, save load? Can I just save anywhere in this game? It looks like I probably can. That's very interesting. Should we just give it a cheeky save? Okay, we don't need to worry about save points. I mean, to be fair, save points are very, very old news. But now we know. Hey, handsome Bill. Hey, Jem. Mamewa. All you lovely people. Todge. The destruction of Mako Reactor 1. The first chapter. The destruction of Mako Reactor 1. Good to know. Anywho. Uh, okay. I love that Cloud carries the sword on his back and it is just so big. Barrett, I want to see Barrett's animation. Because he's obviously, he's only using one arm to come down this ladder. Yeah, he's just being quick. Okay. He's excited to cause murder, as am I. Look at these character models. Look at the light bouncing off my sword. I'm very pleased to be here, guys. Welcome to Final Fantasy VII. So, Torch, you reckon uh, it's not going to have it? There's there's a whole conversation to be had, which we will start to have um, when we wrap up today's, like, episode. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on, do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. I'm a big boy. We'll go for 20 minutes. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Yeah, little stamp. Little stamp. <gasps> you double crossing! Heads up! What in the hell? Okay, so here's our scorpion boss. I'm going to get behind it with Cloud, go into my big attack, and do my critical swings. Let's get Cloud back around there. He's locking onto um, Cloud, so I'm going to defend. Okay, having that defense bar up is good, because I can actually now... Use my Focus Thrust. Switch over to Barrett, who's obviously going to start using Thunder. Oh my god, the music's so loud. Okay, now ATB stuff. Like my bonus triangle attacks only to max out my ATB bar. Cloud, same for you. Abilities. Braver whilst he's down. Again, please. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my health's so low. Let's use a potion right now. I'm getting attacked by the tail, aren't I? Be sure to use potions and healing spells to regenerate HP. Oh, yeah, good idea, good idea. Oh, my God, Cloud's just getting murdered. Let's use a potion again. Not looking good. Damn it. There we go. Okay.
Okay, whilst well, he's being cute, I can heal my guys. The hell is that? A barrier? Potion for clouds. Never seen this defense system before. Barret, you can use the cure. Oh, it's not of anything. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? <laughs> it's my time to shine. Or go down in flames. So the cure is basically the same as potion. Let's try to block. Okay, that reduces rockets down to about 19. It's focusing an attack on Barrett. So I've got that block up. 77. Okay, now let's lock onto the field generator. I'm just outside of its tail range, which is great. Cloud's kind of getting its attention. Let's uh, thunder it right in the generator, ladies. Oh, it's immune to all magic. Okay, let's go over to Cloud. Stay on that field generator. But only physical attacks are doing it. So let's go into abilities. Focus Frost. Lovely. Again. Okay, Barrett can do some long ranging. Please don't compliment the scorpion. Its ba attacks are based on self esteem. Okay, get around it, mate. Get to that field generator. Oh, it's broken, it's broken, yes. So, brave it is. Barrett, big boy shots. That opens up my spells again. Oh, I'm out of MP! I'm out of MP! How dare you. Let's go back to Cloud. Okay, lovely. It staggers down. Again, focus for us. Big boy attacks only. Barret, big boy attacks. Focus shot. Focus shot. Yes, please. Yes, please. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stagger him. Okay. Clouds. Let me just get a few more strikes in. There we go. Braver. Oh, I'm maxing out that stagger opportunity. Watch the tail. You don't want to be hit by that laser. Okay, we've got to get to cover now. What do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. Come on. Okay, he's firing at Cloud. Now, go. Oh, he's doing Barrett in now. Let me uh, jump back into another Braver. Don't overdo it. When he starts getting a bit laser beamy, I should probably get these guys to block. I've got a bit of MP back. I can now use Cure. Hmm. Let's not do that yet. Focus shot. Okay, get to cover. Hey, it's doing that thing again. Find cover and hunger down. <sighs> again and again and again. Okay, so if it's focusing on Barrett, be cloud. Be the cloud you seek. No holding back. Now, get in there and do some damage. It's pressured. Keep it together. Yes, it's my I don't know where that MP's come back from, but I'll take it. 
Oh, I was too far away from my focus thrust. Okay. Barrett, could you please use just a potion? Don't overdo it. Where's he shooting at, mate? I've got clouds. Just need to get these. So I need to fill these bars before I can do stuff like use these items. So let's get Cloud's bar up. Barrett. Getting tired of that laser. Barrett. Next don't get tired or complain. Then you get tired of my complaining, huh? Solid copy. It's on you. Yes, it's my turn. Come on, can hurt. Hang back. Promise. All right. Now, get in there and do some damage. Don't overdo it. Bring in the heat. Here it comes. You got this. I got this. Here we go. Military grade armor and a reactor? So long. Deal with that. Okay, right, focus on the right leg. An auto repair unit. Damn it. We gotta take it out quicker with the crew. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Mer. Focus frost, right leg. Oh, wrong leg. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use limit breaks. Yes! This game still has separate limit breaks. So we've got ability attacks. Some of which used to be the limit breaks in the original, but we've still got X cross or X cut. Limit. Cross slash. Left leg. Any last words? Got a time on attack just right. Hold out until you spot. Good lad, good lad. Barrett, do you want to um cast cure on cloud for me, actually? I'll go back to being cloud. Husky layer belt. Thank you for those. See Don't let up. Focus Frost. Barret. Same for you. Yes. 100 experience. 100 gil. Cloud is level 8. Very nice, wasn't it? <laughs> you hear that? Damn thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Tommy, enjoy your teammate. So, guys, lowercase t. Time to leave. This place is looking like a shithole all of a sudden. Um, let's just have a look at. Can I see enemy limit breaks? Uh, enemy, no, my own even. Oh, Barrett's not in my party anymore. It's just me. I wanted to see how he was getting MP back if that was part of his big shot. There's just some glowing materia there. The water's very wavy. Uh, wait, where did he go? God mode. Hey, Diable. How you doing, man? How's that European life treating you? Uh, any more boxes? Oh, there are more boxes. Nadu Michael, thank you for the host. Let's get out of this reactor, shall we? Let's leave. Give me a break. Yeah, Diablo, I'm good, man. 
just living my best life. Now, the enemies are actually a little bit tougher than they were. How dare you? Than they were in a demo. So I'm hoping 20 minutes is going to be enough to actually successfully get out of here smoothly. Look at all these X cuts. I love it. I'm sad about Valoranta Replay. I've never heard of that. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, man. Okay, big show of time. Freezes right the timer. Hey, we'll link up over there. Look after Jesse. Come this way. This route should lead us straight to Barrett. That's Probably. so weird that it stops the timer. This looks all so lovely. I love how the theme has just gone from green to orange. It feels like a completely different, like, moment in the uh, narrative. Actually, that being said, is it still, uh, is it still chapter one? Let me just go to the... Oh, I can't do anything when I'm on a ladder. I just want to go into the load save menu and see uh, what it's titling this. Still chapter one. Shut up and climb. Shut up and climb. Sorry, it just, it keeps me focused. A Valorant's new game like CSGO. Oh! Oh shit, yeah, no, no. Nah. Oh yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Everyone's, uh, sorry, I take that back, I do know. All the big streamers are playing that. I keep seeing it on the front page of Twitch. It's like closed beta. Now, I obviously don't know about these types of games, but, um,. Unless I'm missing something, it didn't look very good. There it! I've got to come. Find us a way out of here. But then. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. X, Soldier Boy. Okay, <laughs> the boys are back in town. Oh, I can't check my menu when I'm in a battle either. Interesting, I can only retry and go to title. Okay. Take them down. We don't have time for this shit. It's on second. Cool. Five seconds is all we need. Calling fire. Alright! Watch it burn! Let's go. The other way. Gotta get the hell out of here. Lovely. You only really need one convenient switch to make sure Barrett uses his slightly more powerful attacks. Uh in a kind of standard battle like that. Oh, another one of these assholes. So I can use my standard um, Punisher mode attacks. Block a bit. Oh, I can't block magic like flames. I was hoping for a good counter attack. Let's let Barrett do his thing. It's staggered now, so we're all going to use our abilities like Focus Shot. Cloud can use, obviously, his abilities, like Focus Frost. There's that stagger. There's that stagger. So now whenever we use these, it fills our ATB bar. Oh wait, sorry, let's go back to Cloud really quickly. Actually, just thunder it.
Because it's um there is obviously this dodge and block mechanic in there, but you don't have to stress it too much, too much. Monkey Dickies do Todge Nehru Michael Husky Lay about Diablo. If you go on Valorian section on Twitch, 50% alive replays. Oh I see. Oh, it's like a window of time to play it, and that window's closed. So now everybody's just replaying their previous streams. Yeah. Barrett, I nearly cut your legs off. Do you want to not stand so near me? A Moogle medal. One more Moogly, my friends. GG. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, quick potion for Cloud. Fenrir, thank you so much for that host, man. How you doing, bruv? How you guys doing? But Valorian's a plague. <laughs> it's a plague on Twitch. Well, we're just... I'm assuming most of Twitch is going to suddenly become Final Fantasy VII Remake around about now. That's our vibe. These guys. Now, these guys are really combat heavy. So I'm going to go into, oh my god, I'm going to go into counter mode. Shock troopers. So I'm going into punish, I'm going into punisher mode. And blocking. And getting him with the counter. That's how you do it. Because they're really good at dodging. Let's have a really quick look at those guys. So that's, that's why you want Cloud's um, counter strike from his uh, Punisher mode. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Shock Trooper. Troopers belonging to Shinra's Public Security Division. Pharmacological agents and reinforced suits make these troopers tough to take down. They attack with metallic claws and are equipped to both arms. So these guys are on all sorts of trippy drugs as well as wearing these weird skin-tight suits. If you become this kind of trooper, do you ever... Like, there's a human in there, but are you ever really human again? Kind of creepy. Uh, anyway, we're trying to leave, right? Lowercase t. Oh, they've both run straight over to Barrett. Would you believe it? Oh my god, their voices get super creepy echoey. It's on you. Yeah, it's Barrett. Barrett can support them from a distance while we're fucking them up. I'm gonna let you cure Cloud. Let's get this counter. I just need one of them to attack me. There we go. Nice. Look at that slow mo dream. Keep it together. Okay, I'll let Barrett take on uh, this guy up here. Whilst Cloud's fighting that dude. Juggle to stagger. That's the dream. Okay, Barrett, do you want to take care of the other dude up there? It's just a bit annoying getting that on screen. There we go. Block. Any more stuff? No, GG, guys. Uh... Maybe a potion for Barrett in a minute. We'll see how we feel.
A large proportion of her homemade bombs failed to detonate anyway. Or properly. Sir. Hey, Pika Station. How you doing? I really dislike this. Bojack, what don't you like? Okay, no goodies. Again? If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. Well, well, well. Oh my goodness. Uh, trophy earned, one time gig. Tip on material growth. Materials set to equivalent gain experience in battle. As materials improve, they can earn more stars, giving you access to more powerful magic, commands, and buffs. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it. Huh. Well, my friends, it's time to get out of town, and also... Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. It took away the weight of Barrett and Company's deeds for making Shimmer do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've talked about this before Ugh. when we were playing through the... Uh, Air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Playing through the demo. Um, compared, this compared to the original Final Fantasy VII, in the original, Damn. Avalanche set off a bomb, I and there is collateral so damage. <laughs> oh, it's me. Whereas in this version, even though we kind of put the bomb there, we aren't the ones that have actually blown up the Maker Reactor and caused all the damage. It is Shinra from the outgo. Just to make us our hands a little bit cleaner. However, in the original, Jessie often talks about how the bomb blast was more powerful than she intended, and that she was just following the instructions that she found online. So that's a bit of an interesting nod, because it's just like, oh. 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 This is why it was more powerful than thought in this version of events. Oh, my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? Denala, hey, uh. Blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time, I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. So, um, wedges on the crack cocaine. Good to know. Good to know. A little something something. How much farther do we have to go? 
Not far. Two potions, thank you. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bombs. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Because Cloud's Braver Sword, uh, Buster Sword, is on his back, I'm really excited for when you upgrade the swords, like how the others are going to look over his shoulder. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb in the Mako Reactor 1. Good morning. Good morning, Toby. Thank you for the resub, man. Only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your feelings. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Wow, that is really interesting. Because in the original, they're just like, hey, they roll out of here and then they leave. But in this one, they're just like, oh my god, our actions actually have consequences? Because there's definitely collateral damage. Look, innocent people have definitely been injured somewhere. But Barrett's just like, this is what we were always all about. Okay, that's interesting. Because I really would... So one of my main concerns was in the demo that they were going to gloss over the idea of this responsibility because of um, Shinra being the ones to activate the bombs instead of Avalanche. But they are still making that part of the narrative by the looks of it. Oh my god, that's such a good sign. I was really worried about that. Linela, yeah, the graphics are amazing. Wolf Ali, hello there, good sir. Remember when Wedge's pants were on fire? I remember. I remember those good times. Guys... This game. So anyway, guys, um, yeah, I'm just mostly focusing on the game. I'm trying to keep quiet during all of the talking cutscenes. It's a pleasure to have you. We'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then. Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. Oh, shit, yeah. So this is one of the very few times you get to see life on top of the plates. Did you spend the rest of your days in the slums? I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. 
You can have it for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Hey, we've got Hure, Kira. Ah. Uh, it's Hami Funko. Have a bloody good night. You look after yourself, mate. So who's uh, the flower going to? Bojack, Barret, if we can. So, materia equipment unlocked. You can now set materia to your weapons and armor by setting the healing materia to your buster sword. Let's have a really quick look. Set materia to weapons and armor through materia and equipment. Press triangle to set materia. We've got the bangle and the buster sword. The slots in the top row are for your weapon and the bottom are for your armor. So, let me just give you a little bit of a look at this really quickly. Select an empty materia slot and press X. So here's our healing materia. Fire is already equipped, and this will allow us to use Cure. The materia is now set. Materia set to your equipment allows you to use new spells and abilities, and also boosts your stats. Find a combination that works best for your strategy. Ah. So I love it. We've still got the linked slots as well. So if we find an all materia, it's absolute win. We've got fire and cure linked into my sword. So most importantly, when we become cloud, does it show in our sword? Okay. I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Ether and potions. Oh. Yes, look at that. Both slots on our sword in our field. That's so fucking good. Guys, look at the results of our actions. Hello there, child. Was it bad that my first instinct was if I cut him with my sword, I would dump him in a dumpster over here on the corner? I didn't realise there were two witnesses. Look at this design, man. I love it. It's like, you know, red brick New York mixed with in post like apocalyptic in industry. Everything's got massive Mako pipes for it. Gill. Thank you very much. It is like it's London by C Cyberpunk. Originally, wasn't it going to be a noir detective story? Ruland, I'm not familiar with that story. Holy shit. Activate murder hobo protocols. Yeah, not suspicious at all with my big buster sword. Wow, everyone's really feeling a lot of miserable emotions. They've all gone into misery lying down mode really, really quickly. Oh, Ian. I can hear Jessie, I can't see her. EMTs. Where's that stretcher? Where are you? No dice. I shit you over there too. Keep pounding them. Get over here. Shinra medics wear the same helmets or similar helmets. It's really interesting. 
So I could hear Jessie, but I couldn't see her. This is this looks fantastic. It's okay. You're safe now. Got a picture with me. If you really want to get to the station, you can always climb those stairs. Try picking your way across the level. Understood. I'm just gonna look on the map. Yeah, it all roads lead to Rome, right? Give me my Aerith! Do you call it Aerith or Ares? Oh, localization. Free grenades. Why, thank you very much. Okay, it really is making a much larger deal about the consequences than it did before. Really thumping that Shinra theme tune as well. Stations intact. My God! He couldn't be. But then, looks like I'm having a bit of a emotional mental break moment. Look, oh, look at this. These are the villages of my hometown. Look at that structure there. And right here, it's still Midgar. Cloud's having a bit of a uh, a moment. Now we we know what this is about from the original game, but I'll try not to go into spoils just yet. Just in case anybody's here who doesn't know the plot of this game. The hell? It's getting harder to walk. Daddy Sefi's here. It is a good thing to kill God. Looking forward to resurgence of Cloud Sephiroth Yaoi. So am I. That was some good shit. Oh, Fenrir. In that case, I'll keep quiet, but it's good. Not real. You're dead. I am. Um... I killed you with my own... Was the crowning moment of our time together but that was then and this is now i have a favor to ask our beloved planet is dying slowly silently 
painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown, the planet so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world. Which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry. It's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. Good. I can feel it. It gives you focus. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Okay, we all kind of know that wasn't Fumes from the Mako, but... That episode could have been triggered by his exposure to the Mako energy. So I'm inexorably linked to another individual called Sephiroth related to the burning of a village. And I'm, uh, I'm having some flashbacky booze. Okay, the way we've just come from is locked. Also, I can't run anymore. I can only walk. Oh! I can flick on and off my um, a cheeky map in the corner. That's very good to know. Hey Daniel Overkill, hey Dorkfang. Speaking of Star Wars references, remember Biggs and Wedge are also Star Wars. They are. They are. I was going to be mad if you didn't do the voice. <laughs> that is. Hey Dorkfang, welcome on him. Okay, we're strutting. I can't run, I can only strut. My command menu is still open, but uh, my HP and MP are back to max. You don't know how I survived this long. The oxygen is still leaking in the vicinity of the it's this place got hit too. It's gonna pay. You are advised to stay My son the told me he'd be back soon, but the explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. Now this particular track, I don't remember it from the game. This track's not in the original Final Fantasy VII game. This track is in the Final Fantasy VII animated movie, uh, Advent Children. Unless I'm missing something. Wait, which button did I just... Oh, here we go, this button. You okay? Shinra will save us. I know it. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Oh, I thought I couldn't go that way because of the thing. You are advised to vacate the area immediately. The explosions at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. It is not safe to remain indoors. Please leave your residences at once. Running would be suspicious indeed. Yeah, handsome Bill, X Wing pilots. Angel Kogane, how are you doing? Welcome in. Toxic Jin. Just as cute as I remember him. Cloud, I mean. <laughs> you charmer. Toxic, how are you doing? Lovely to see you. Toxic, if I ever miss anything you've got to say, just know you're already one of my mates. That being said, I'm mostly focusing on the game. Thank you so much for joining, though, guys. Man, 
What a mess. Evacuation order has been issued to the occupants of buildings in the vicinity of the How are you doing, Toxic? How's life treating you, man? You are advised to vacate the area immediately. The explosives at the reactor have caused numerous ongoing fires. Many homes are at risk. Mom, we want to get our toys. Please leave your residences at once. Free potions. Core, it's really, uh, it's really milking us into the whole, like, you know, things are pretty terrible vibe. Thank you. Stressed out and jealous that I'm not the one playing this remake. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you stressed out about other things, or is it purely this? I hope uh, in these troubling COVID times you're okay, man, and your studies aren't an absolute nightmare. How many thousands have died? I think the death tolls in the tens and tens and the injuries are in the hundreds. Crazy amounts of studying and very few... Oh, and a few assignments. Ooh, I'm sorry, man. The camera's swinging me really weirdly. Over here? Oh, I see. It's The camera was just about to go on rails, so it was acting strange. We're exploring so much of the upper levels. Oh, this is familiar. This particular area. Don't let the intruder escape. Hmm. That's probably me. So I'm uh. Let's go over here, ladies. Could the mayor be behind this? Huh? <gasps> President Jinra's name. Okay. Close, but no cigar. Not the mayor, it's but Shinra. Pizza time. Welcome. Drinks menu includes something, something, iced tea, ice mocha. Order here, Monday to Friday. Coffee, espresso, cafe au lait, latte, and cappuccinos. And also a hot delicious slice of apple pie for four gill and 99 cents. Oh. those things away what things meepin mupwa hiya thanks for the follow Think of it as a memento just my luck i heard that you know <sighs> fuck you and your flower no no i'm kidding i'm kidding so aries erif sensed that i had scared away whatever weird non-existing monsters were just happening there. She can sense that there's something about me, but I'm not aware of it myself, and she dropped the subject like that. Who's this town drunk? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy women's talking on the street. Guys, was anybody here when I told you about my crazy woman I be for story? Anyway. That's a story for another time. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Oh, yellow flower! Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, 
I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell... <gasps> Oh, you can see them through her eyes. And his character model's wearing the flower. What are they? Drop your weapon. Oh, they can't see it. Right, let's get right in it. Go into operator punisher mode. Get those big punishments in. Let's do a cheeky fire on this boyo over here for fun. Was never in doubt. Lovely bit of murder juggling. So guys, we've met Aerith. We've had an interaction with her. She's being pursued by all sorts of mysterious things. We are, as ever, caning these Shinra assholes. And I think we're going to call it right there, my friends. Join me for the next episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'll see you guys in just a moment.